Since I was born and raised on the shore of the Pacific, I have a personal love and emotional connection to the ocean. So it's a great honor and a pleasure to serve as content lead for the SOCAP Oceans Track. Together with core advisors like Fish 2.0 and Cheryl's organization, The Future of Fish, and supported by visionary sponsor, the David and Lucille Packard Foundation, we're really excited to offer something new to the SOCAP community this year. But why is the ocean track here at SOCAP? It's partly because the ocean issues are so vital, but most importantly, we're focusing on the ocean because the specific skills and the tools and the thought leadership that we, the SOCAP community, bring to the table are exactly what the space needs this moment. If we're going to create meaningful change on the major issues in the world, we have to be willing to take on challenges and complexities that aren't predictable, that are fraught with uncertainty, and that aren't yet fully built out. That's also what entrepreneurial and market opportunity is all about. Significant natural resources like the ocean and the ocean ecosystem are the source and the very basis of our welfare and our economic prosperity. Apart from economics, there are other benefits just as vital. There is fast growing evidence confirming the importance that these resources provide for our psychological and our physical health. At a time when countries are struggling to meet rising public health challenges, this continues to be paramount. Oceans sustain us and they replenish fish stocks. Yet our economic system is not aligned with the realities that allow this system to exist in the first place. This week, you'll engage with people working successfully to redress this misalignment by applying a whole system's lens of how the ocean and the economy interact, we more easily see emergent patterns of interdependence. Working with polycentric, integrated perspectives, we see the true role of nature as the provider of economically vital services rather than resources to be used up simply to fuel economic growth. Given how wide open the space is, the opportunities for engagement and impact are truly limitless. Our interests as a community and as impact investors align powerfully with this burgeoning market. We bring innovative approaches and values. We bring conversation and inquiry. We offer experience in structuring funds, shaping markets, building entrepreneurial capacity, and delivering impact. Collectively, we are agents of creative and systems interventions. Our toolkit includes market-based models, story-based strategy, inventiveness, and cross-sector engagement. As a community, we have a wealth of expertise from deal structuring to impact metrics. We are poised to activate the imagination in this important expanding market. We can help build the tools and systems to create a sustainable ocean economy. This week, you'll hear from a range of entrepreneurs and thinkers from a new fund helping small fishermen create sustainable livelihoods to experts addressing how we value such a complex natural resource as the ocean. Impact investors who have traditionally worked in sectors such as food and agriculture, clean technology, climate change, and poverty reduction are here to share how their experience is being applied in the ocean sector. We at SOCAP have a unique opportunity to collaborate with key players on the ground this week to turn marine ecosystem service initiatives into communicable products that raise money, engage new audiences, influence policy, shape initiatives, and bring technologies together so healthy marine management can be sustainably financed. Themes you'll be working with this week include financial innovation, mapping collaborations to, to share data and identify patterns that emerge, design, compelling design principles that address flexibility, intentionality, and human experience, infrastructure, working across sectors to build financial tools and technologies to fund sustainable markets and to rebuild robust systems. 
As we know from other sectors, in addition to economic benefit, there is a significant social dividend as a result of building resilient supply chains. We'll talk about entrepreneurship and innovating along those supply chains, creating tools to increase traceability, safety, productivity, and transparency, innovations that deliver sustainably sourced, properly labeled fish to our consumers. Working to forge unlikely alliances, we can engage influencers and we can create new collaborations. Fashioning potent new narratives, we can mobilize new demographics and foster innovation. Applying our existing experience and skills, we can transform a culture that is asking for fresh thinking and direct support. Thank you all for being here, for being a part of something important, something fascinating, and something ultimately very, very hopeful. Thank you.